How to improve Google Shopping performance with Google Analytics. Have you heard of Google Analytics? If you have set it up, but you're not quite sure how to use it to support and improve your Google Ads performance, this is the video right for you. I'm going to go into Google Analytics and show you three reports that is going to help you understand what's the performance of your Google Ads campaigns, whether you're getting the right people to your store. Also, if you're running multiple campaigns, Google Analytics can help you understand what's the behavior of those people from those different campaigns when they're coming to your store, what's their intention to buy, whether they have any interest at all in buying from your store. And if you watch right to the end, I'm going to show you one extra bonus report that helps you understand what's the role of your Google Ads campaigns in turning interested shoppers into loyal customers. Hi, I'm Clarice Lin, the RI doctor who helps pet store owners, baby store owners, food and drink store and fashion store owners to grow and scale up profitable Google Shopping ads. If you are new to my channel, welcome. You might want to check out one of my free resources, the Shopify Marketing Guide, 25 pages where I go into the pros and cons of alternative ways of driving traffic to your store if you're just running Google Ads, such that you can build up alternative traffic sources to your store and don't 100% rely on Google. This video will be divided into two parts where I'll explain to you the fundamentals of the three reports, what is it about, what you're looking out for. And in the second half of the video, I'm going to show you a screen share showing you how you can get those reports on your screen and you can examine it in more details for your own campaigns. First report, traffic acquisition report. This report is going to tell you what's the quality of your Google Ads traffic. Although in Google Ads, you'll be able to see what's the click-through rate, what is the impressions you're getting for each individual campaign but you have no clues after those clicks to your store are these the right people to your store are they going to convert so between that click and that conversion there is a gap you want to minimize those gap you want to get more clarity around this gap to understand if these people are actually the right people instead of just waiting and waiting and waiting for that sale which sometimes would happen or might not happen using this traffic acquisition report you'll get clues into the behavior of these visitors coming to your store and one of the key metrics to be looking at is the average session duration. In that report, I'll show you how you can get that metric showing up against your Google Ads traffic so you can understand how you are actually spending your money or the money spending on those ads. Are these the right people that you're getting to your store? This second report is going to come in handy, especially if you're running multiple campaign. If you're running like maybe a PMAX and you're running a branded search or you're doing a remarketing campaign, you have a better idea how each of these campaigns are performing. And using this report, you can also see how long these people are staying on the store, how many pages they're visiting, and if there are any add to cuts at all. This report is a subset of the traffic acquisition report. But essentially what you do with this report is drilling down to the performance of each of these campaigns. If you are spending a lot of money on those, you would definitely want to have more clarity around the behavior of the visitors from each of these campaigns to have more confidence that your campaign is running on the right track. <music> This landing page report, in particular, if you're running Google Shopping campaigns or PMAX, so you have shopping listings, you want to know each of these visitors landing on those individual product pages. Are you getting the right people to your store? Do they visit other pages? What's the duration of that visit? In this case, you will be able to pinpoint right exact if those product listings need further optimization. Also, if you are doing experiments and testings, improving your product titles or your description, or you've decided to run more targeted ad campaigns with various ad copy, then by understanding how groups of visitors landing on those pages, their behavior would give you a better insight and indicate whether the experiments you're running or the changes that you're making, you're not only getting closer to getting the more of the right people to your store, you're spending your ad budget wisely. <music> The bonus report is the conversion paths report. This report sits under advertising in the navigation bar. You'll get a bird's eye view understanding the path each of those visitors took before they eventually decide to buy from you. If interacting with Google Ads was their first point of contact and they subsequently return via other means, it could be like directly to your site 
or they visit one of your social media posts or they found one of your blog posts and they return to your site. Subsequently, you get more in-depth understanding how those interactions led to the eventual conversion. In that report, you will also be able to see how long it took for a casual shopper to turn into a customer. And if you previously had no clue how long it take from that first Google Ads click to that final purchase, through that report, you get a clearer idea, understanding how many times the visitor returned to your store before they decided to buy. And through that, you will be able to decipher better understanding how each of your assets of your store, whether it is your blog post, whether it is your video, whether it is your social media, how each of these elements come together to convert that shopper into your customer. The journey of an online shopper is not that straightforward. It's not just about setting up your Google Ads campaign and they click on it, they come to your store and then they buy. Sometimes they need some time to think. They might return again on subsequent occasion. It could be various visits within one single day or it could be numerous visits over multiple days or weeks before they decide to buy. So we have no idea. Looking at this report, you will get a clearer understanding like what's the turnaround time, how much time the shoppers need if they are coming from a Google Ads campaign or how can you improve on different assets on your store such that you can improve on the effectiveness of your marketing tactics to help nudge that shopper nearer to their final purchase. Today, I'm going to show you the screen share of how to locate those three reports that I've mentioned in Google Analytics. This will be Google Analytics 4, the latest version of Google Analytics. Previously, you have a different setup. And this is the interface of what you will see when you log in to Google Analytics 4. And this account I'm showing you today is a demo account set up by Google. And this is based on the traffic on their merchandise shop. Yes, Google does have a merchandise shop. And here it is. This is how it looks like. They sell many things and it's under the brand of Google. And they have a Google Analytics account that they have set up on Google Analytics 4. Right, so this will be the main page that you will see when you log into Google Analytics. And it looks totally different from the previous Google Analytics. I've been working on Google Analytics since 2010, and this was a huge surprise when Google decided to roll out this version of Google Analytics that looks so different from the previous version. Don't worry. I'm going to show you which are the three reports that you should be looking at and this one bonus report if you watch right to the end. This is the page you're going to see after you log into Google Analytics. Before I go into this reports, I want to make sure you have the same similar settings as what I have over here. For every shopper that comes to your store, you want them to take a particular action and that's why Google Analytics is important. You want them to do an action which is ultimately to buy something from your store. But before they make that purchase, they are going to do some action that will be able to give you some insight whether they are going to eventually become your customers. And each of these actions will be indicated on Google Analytics as a conversion. And you can see that in the admin panel. Let's take a look. Under conversions. And this is the list of conversion. You can see add to cart, begin checkout, first visit. If they become a member and predicted top spenders, purchase. This is the list that Google has set up and this is what they want the shoppers to do. If you have a Shopify store, you would likely have connected the Google and YouTube app to your Shopify store and you would have a slightly different list of conversion events shown here. I'm going to show you what you have. This is the list of what you have. Add payment info, add to cart, begin checkout and purchase. These are the indicators that shows really clearly that someone would want to buy from your store. If you have not set up Google Tag Manager, this would be the basic. Now that you have seen what are the conversions that Google has set for their merchandise store, and you have also seen how a typical Shopify store would have set as a conversion if you have connected your Google and YouTube app. Let's head back to the report. You go to the menu, you head to reports. Under reports, this is what you would see if you have set it up correctly. And you can see acquisition, engagement, monetization, retention, user attributes, and tag. 
And we want to focus today on these three reports. Two of those reports are under acquisition. Acquisition meaning how you are acquiring that traffic. And this is how Google has organized the reports. They categorize those reports into how you're acquiring that those traffic and how those people are engaging with the content on your store pages and how much monetization you're getting from those shoppers. And of course, retention, people who are coming back, how those people are behaving, how many of your existing customers or shoppers are returning customers. The report I want to focus on today is the Traffic Acquisition Report. I'm going to click on this, Traffic Acquisition. And this is the report you're going to see. I'm going to enlarge the screen on the right to give us a clearer view to analyze the report. You can click on the button over here, right bottom to close the menu. I'm going to shift myself in the best way to put myself there. Right, so you can see this is the default report. And right now, we're going to look at the quality of Google Ads traffic. And this report is not what we're looking for. If you click over here on this little button, you can click session source medium. This is what you're going to see right here. And what you're looking for has the default. If you didn't make any modifications to the default Google Ads tracking code, this is what you're looking for, Google slash CPC, which means all your traffic that's come through from Google Ads, that's default. And you'll be able to see the user sessions, engage sessions, average engagement, time per session, engage sessions per user, events per session. Go to, this could be quite a number of metrics for you to look at as a beginner. I'm going to zoom down and tell you exactly which are the metrics to focus on rather than getting overwhelmed by this many metrics. What you can do over here at the beginning before you go into drilling in is you can select on the top right hand corner what's the date range you want to look at the last 30 days, last month, last two weeks. So you can select over here, which is the default view that you want. You can also do some comparison if you want. I'm just going to let it stick with the last 28 days, which is the default. Once that's done, we're going to look at Google CPC and you can see how much traffic you are getting. Users, which is the number of people, whereas sessions is the number of visits. So one user who comes multiple times would have multiple sessions. Typically, you would see the session number to be bigger than the user numbers. In the previous Google Analytics, you will not have this engaged session, average engagement time per session. These are new metrics that Google has come up with. An engaged session is defined by Google as a visit that lasted longer than 10 seconds or had a conversion event. If a user does any of those conversions that we have seen earlier in the settings, then this will be counted as an engaged session. Or also, if someone have visited two or more screen or page views, this is what Google would typically recommend. If your business model is slightly different, your store works differently, then this might not be applicable to you. But this would also be a good gauge of how engaged your users are. And you can see what's the average engagement time per session. And what I want to bring up here is instead of just looking at engaged sessions, we want to know what's the average time spent by Google Ads traffic. And this is not indicated right here because this is not part of the default metric. It used to be a default metric in the previous analytics, but over here it is not. You have to set it up yourself to locate the metric that I want to show you. You go to the top right hand corner of the screen, look at customize report, click on this button, this little pencil button, and a panel will pop up on the right. And over here, you can see the dimensions and the metrics. Click on metrics and look for average session duration. As you can see average session duration. This is a good metric to give you a very good indicator how much time in general an average user from Google Ads has spent on your store. And you can move it up here nearer to the sessions number next to the engaged sessions. Engaged sessions is a good number, a good ratio for you to see how much percentage in general are your users engaged. But if you truly want to know how much time the average user spends 
then you definitely want to get this average session duration. And the other metric that could be useful is how many pages do they visit? Look for pages per session. Let's take a look. So views per session, which means how many pages they have visited per visit. Click on that, you can add that metric in. You can click on that. These two average session duration and views per session is the breakdown or drill down to exactly the quality of the traffic that you have coming from Google Ads. Engaged sessions is simply a summary of what Google thinks. If you have higher engaged sessions, that would be a good number for you to track. If you want to use Google's number, you can, but if you really want to know what's the average time spent on store for each visit, then you want to pick up average session duration and views per session. Now that you have these two, you can click on apply. And this will show up out in the report below. And you can see as well, you can also select and you can also select dimensions instead of the default channel group. You can shift session source medium up to the top and click on Apply. Once you have done that, click on save and they will ask you if you want to save changes to current report or save as a new report. If you want to keep Google's default report, you can't, then you would save this as a new report altogether with the new, with the two new metrics that you have added in. You can click on save as a new report and you can rename the report that says traffic acquisition session by source medium and to view the quality of traffic by average session duration and pages per visit. You click on save. After you have saved your report, you'll be able to access those reports in your library in the menu and you'll be able to see the report that you have created. If you have saved it as a new report and you name it correctly, this will be easily accessible for you the next time. And let's take a look at the report that we have customized. You can see right over here, under users and sessions, you can see in general traffic coming from Google Ads, how much time they spend, which is four minutes, four seconds. In this case, it's a really good number. You want to get as high as number as possible. And people who've come from Google Ads, they viewed a total of 4.9 pages per visit, which is a really, really good number. If your values look somewhere like this, that means your Google campaigns are well on track in general. You're spending your money wisely. If you have multiple campaigns, then this is another report that you can look at. Using the same report, you can customize a different view. Instead of looking at source medium, you would use session campaign. When you select session campaign, it shows you all the different campaigns you're running in Google Ads. The name of each campaign that you're running and you can see the individual performance of those traffic that comes from various sources. If you are running a search ad or if you're running a shopping campaign or PMAX, you can see the quality of traffic by campaign type. And this is where you click on session campaign and you would be able to get the same view. You'll be able to drill down to the details of quality of traffic from individual campaigns. You can see right here, if you're running like a PMAX campaign or if you're running a Google shopping campaign, this will be shown on the left hand column over here. And you can see individually, all right, my PMAX campaign and average, it should visit from the PMAX campaign. They spend about 3 minutes, 36 seconds. Well, great, I'm on the right track. So they are spending 4.52 pages. Awesome. These are the numbers that you want to be looking at. If your average session duration is really low, like 3 seconds or 5 seconds, that's something to be worried about because this is not a typical behavior exhibited by potential customers. The more pages they visit and the longer time they spend on your store, these are clues that indicate that this shopper or this browser coming from Google Ads, they are more likely to turn into customers. 
If you're not getting that values, maybe it's time to reevaluate an entire store, review your campaign to see which are the areas you should be optimizing to get the right people to your store. The third report we're looking at is the landing page report. You will find this report under engagement landing page and you will click on that. You can see exactly the shoppers coming from various campaigns of specifically from Google Ads, which are the pages they landed on and which are the pages that they spent the longest time on if that was their first landing page. This is what you can drill down to further. I'm going to show you. If you click on the minimize button here, you can get a better view. You see the landing page report. And specifically, we want to find out if you are getting traffic from Google Ads based on the landing page, how much time they are spending on the store. And you can go here and add a filter. Now that you're on the landing page report, click on the pencil button, to customize report to find what you are looking for. Same thing as what we were doing before. Click on metrics and look for the average session duration. And you look at pages per visit, views per session. Cool, now you have these figures here. You can see every session duration. Have a closer look to examine in details. You can pull the average session duration and views per session up here and click on apply. So you get a better view next to the volume. Now that we have selected the metrics, the next thing is to filter out, we want to examine only the visits coming from Google Ads. And that's where you look at the filter. Under Report Filter, click on Add Filter. You select by dimensions. We want to look for Source Medium, which is where the traffic is coming from. Session Source Medium. And you select for Match Type, Exactly Matches, and then it comes up a list of different values where you can click on which is Google CPC, which is the Google Ads traffic. So click on that. Okay, done. We only want to filter out for Google Ads traffic because we want to examine the quality of traffic from Google Ads landing on those pages. Right, and you click on apply. Perfect. Now we've got the report. And that's done. And that's the report. Aside from the average duration time and the pages per session, another indicator that you can look at using the same report is the conversions, whether someone added to cart. If you recall right at the start, we have set up add to cart as a conversion that we want to track. We want to know whether the visitor coming to the store, whether they have done this action. And under conversions over here, aside from purchase, you can see which are the indicators that we can look at to see if this is a quality visitor. You can look at if they click on add to cart. So you can click on add to cart. If they landed on Google redesign apparel from a Google ads campaign, if this was the first page that they landed on the first one, they were more likely to add to carts. Whereas if they landed on the super team book recycled backpack, there was only one add to carts. So that is something that we can look at. Maybe there's an opportunity to find out more. Maybe we need to improve on the ads for people landing on this page. That's something to explore further if they were more likely to add to cuts or not. This would be another strong indicator that a visitor landing on that page coming from Google Ads account, they actually wanted to buy something from your store. So that action itself is a very strong indicator and you can use this report to look at that. Within the Shopify reports itself, you don't have that much details. You don't have that much depth to it. So you have no idea if someone came to the store and add to carts, like which were the first page that they landed on. Because the pages that they landed on could make a huge difference in helping you to know, determine how targeted the ads were, whether there was something wrong with the ads or was there something wrong with the pages that you need to rework on. Now that we have seen how this works, we're going to go into this bonus report. Let's go look at advertising. Under advertising, you'll be able to see the conversion path report. 
click on view conversion path. And this is the report that lets you have a really good look what's the impact of Google Ads. If someone clicked on it the first time and returned multiple times, how many days did they take to finally buy something from the store after that first visit? You will be able to see from here. So from this report, you can select on the date range and you can also look at, instead of default channel group, look at source medium. You can use source or you can use campaign if you want to see exactly which Google Ads campaign made the most impact. You can see over here, for example, if you're using Google Ads in terms of PMAX, you can see how many days it took to conversion, how many touch points did it have. So this is a really good report for you to see the impact of how many times if someone came through organic traffic came four times before they buy. And this not only helps you to see what's the impact of Google Ads, driving traffic to your store, but you can also see if you're also doing blogging, if you're doing social media, it allows you to see which was the path that the user take before they finally became a customer. You will see how many times they take, so how many times they came back to your store before they convert, or in this case, how many days to conversion from their first click to your store to that eventual purchase. This is a really good report, whatever you're doing with your store or your marketing tactics which is working and which has impacts or which has a bigger impact. So you want to double down on those tactics while those which is not really working, you either want to improve on it or to remove that strategy altogether. All of these reports that I'm sharing with you are part of my diagnostics toolkit that I help my clients with when they come to work with me. I examine what's the problem with their accounts or what's the quality of their traffic understanding and giving recommendations on areas where I think we can make improvements to create the most impacts. If you would like to work with me to help you diagnose what's the problem with your ad account or how you can further improve your ad account, my contact details in the description and pinned comments, do check that out. If you're running PMAX campaign or Google Shopping campaigns, and you want to improve click-throughs to your ads, getting more clicks to your store, you want to check out one of my videos, how to improve Google Shopping click-throughs, link on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Sometimes the cost of not getting any clicks could be because you're not getting enough impressions for your product listings. If you're running PMAX campaign or if you're running Google Shopping campaigns and you're not getting enough impressions, you want to check out one of my other videos, not getting enough impressions, what else can you do? Link on the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, remember to give it a like. Do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos on how to grow and scale up profitable Google Shopping ads in a scientific manner. I'm Clarice Lin, RI Doctor, signing off. Stay profitable. Thank you.